Hey everyone, it's Rayplan here from Nova Gamer. This is the Shroud of the Avatar pre-release alpha for testing, blah, 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 blah. I go through it all the time. It's the alpha test. So as you can see here up in the top right, uh, left-hand corner, sorry, it's the pre-alpha. Um, we've been stressing that on every video because there is issues. And if you watch our last video, you can see that it was kind of flying in midair for a bit. Um, so I brought you to a different town this time because this time we are going to show you the swimming. Now it's nothing amazing just yet. Um, just like my footsteps are kind of loud. Let me just turn that down a little bit. All right, so they, uh, did I say that? Yeah, okay. Um, it's not anything major, so here's the water. The water actually looks quite good for the pre-alpha test. But when you jump in the water, so you got the nice wave sounds and everything, but they made it, we can't swim under the water yet. We can only swim on top of the water. Uh, they pretty much just introduced swimming, so I didn't automatically assume we were going to be going under the water just yet. But they did add in the two new bo boat designs, because if you watch in our previous videos, we showed this design in front of us. And here's two more, but now we can actually swim out to them. So that's why they kind of put them out here. So you can actually see what the boats look like. So let me get out here. Not sure if they're gonna. Ah. So they made us do double click on the boat and it takes us back to the docks. There must be a way to get on the ships though. So what I wanted to do is I saw them and I thought I'd make a video for you guys, show you the. Uh, I mean, you can go on to their website and you can see the actual pictures of these ships, but I thought what better way to see the ships than to actually go on them. I just didn't bother to check to see if I could get on them first. Uh, which it doesn't look like you can. Uh, and you can't jump out of the water yet. They didn't add that in yet. But there you have it. So the ships, as you can see, are getting quite large. Um, you can see these rooms that are inside and everything. You just have to go on their website, look at the media that they have, and you'll see the pictures of all the different ships designs that they have so far. And probably after the pre-release is done, I'll get some more pictures up on our website as well, which is NovaGamer.net for those who don't know. And we have an actual Shroud of the Avatar tab under Features. Um, so that's this is the second ship. It's got more portholes in it than that one does. That one's got kind of the old classy, yeah. And this one's kind of more of the modern mid olden day blah 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 I don't really know I'm not I'm not good on ship designs um, unless it's a big metal ship I don't know much about it I'm not big into the wooden ships um, just a second that is still really really bad oh the sound effects flying his way up there we go alright so if we head up here So, as you're traveling in Kingsport here, you can see, because uh, last video we showed you Al's head, uh, you've also seen the those as they came out bit by bit. Um, these are the actual water plots, if you haven't seen it before, of land. So, right here, this marked in territory here. Um, I'll turn that up a bit now that we're past all those chickens. Um, this marked in land circle here, this is that lighthouse lighthouse's land plot and later on you can get your own land plots um, I know this Kingsport is really big on chickens for some reason I'll take you in the lighthouse here because we never did that in any of the other videos um, is this guy talking to me I'll show him how to whisper Capital L. William A R O N H E A R T. You have to type W slash their name and then the message. I can't explain it to him. Was it Lion Ironheart A? One sec. 
A A O N Ah A R That's probably what I did wrong last time O N heart Oh you gotta put a comma in You have to type Slash W Name Comma Message There Ah, he's not logged in Oh yeah, I just saw him down here though Is he still there? No, he's not there He must have logged out Anyways Get rid of the chat log. So I go up here, they get a little sleeping quarters in the lighthouse. And if you keep going up. Right up. There, right at the top. So it's kind of cool, they actually made the lighthouse. I don't know if I can, yeah, I can, over here I can get in there. They kind of made the lighthouse as an actual fire, like the olden days, and not a big light, which is kind of cool. And then they have this mirror that spins around. And if you actually look out, they actually added in some nice detail because you can see the beam of light going around as it spins around. So it's pretty cool. Uh, they just recently added that in, I believe. Oh yeah, there's no death yet besides actually attacking something and dying that way. Um, we will try to make one more video after this one because they have basements in the houses and stuff and so I'll take you on a tour of the basements but first things first I wanted to take you for, first show you the swimming which we just did and now we'll head out and I'll show you the other stuff we can fight I showed you spiders before and skeletons in the dungeon uh, there's skeleton mages and there was a lich at the end now they did put in a new patch that makes it so the lich does damage because if you watch the video I did the lich didn't hit hard. I wouldn't say at all. I would say he didn't hit hard. Period. There was no damage. <laughs> um, so for those of you who haven't seen the combat yet because they didn't watch the uh, dungeon video, you can check that out if you want to see what the first dungeon is. Uh, we called it uh, Shroud of the Avatar Dungeons and Death video. Uh, but I'll zoom out here to the minimap and I'll take you to where the elves are. Now, if I can remember correctly, they are sort of out in the field. So, that town I just left up there is Owl's Head, the one that was on the map there. For some reason, it always starts you there when you come to the mini-map. Uh, for well, at least it's been doing that to me. Uh, this right here is Kingsport. I'm actually going to decipher all these again because I did that way back with Ultima Online so I should still have that somewhere so then I can properly give you guys the names of what everything is next time we make a video. Uh, this is just a little tiny town. It's not even a town, it's kind of a player made village. And then the third town that you've seen us playing before is down here. I'll show you it and then I'll go show you the elves. So these are kind of caves you can go down into and kind of some extra damage and this is the other one that was in the woods this is the one that's kind of an NPC town and kind of um, a player that you know we build our own houses there to make the town look bigger and I believe that it was out in the fields here was where they are so just a sec pretty sure I was fighting the elves and stuff before they were out here Nope, never mind. <laughs> I think they're telling us this is a placeholder map for this hex type. So obviously they don't have one for here yet, which is kind of cool. Um, the reason why they're doing this in hexes like this, can I run out of this? I better be able to run it. Okay, good. Um, the reason why they're doing it in hexes like this, so if you go back to the mini map, you'll see this is all in hexes. So these hexagons are going to be individual things that they load on. So when you zoom into each hexagon, that's why you move hexagon at a time. I can't click halfway yet. i got to click on one, see? And the reason for that... I think they might be by the water. The reason for that is that... They want you to be able to 
change the map in the future so when you do quests and things like that it will change the outlook of the map there is an actual quest in the game here um, I've been just recently working on that so once I get that figured out completely for you guys I'll try to make a video for you on that but this is so I've shown you a couple of the other different map layouts already if you go back and look at the other videos you can see them um, that we zoomed in on this is the one I haven't shown you yet so if you go up here it's kind of cool they got the long grass swaying all the way through but there's also those elves up here just gotta find them I believe there's some down by the river here yeah they're there over there to battle so I could pull out my bow but I don't really feel like it um, they'll come right at you anyways you only get about two bow shots out and then you gotta try to switch weapons really quick so for those who haven't seen the dungeon and death video you'll see that the way it works is this is my health bar down here you gotta double click once you double click you can see that now I'll attack and once I'm attacking their health slowly starts changing color so see it's now it's a yellowish greenish then it'll go to a darker yellow and then a darker yellow and then red and then he'll die um, same thing with mine but I can also see my health right here and this is our mana but we can't cast spells yet some of the NPCs do I'm hoping I can find another mage for you guys to see the elf mage but this is the elf fighter can I zoom in closer there? Yeah, whoa, too far. There, so that's the elf fighter. So it's, they're obviously they're gonna render it a little better and smooth it out a little bit better before the complete release, but this is still the alpha. We're not even into the beta yet, so once that happens, they'll start working more on the graphics and stuff once they have the actual layout of everything done. Then there's a matter of just smoothing out the cells. This guy was dying quick and now he's slowing right down. Oh, now I get an archer on me. Alright, now I'm gonna run. Or I'm gonna die. Oh, I don't want to make another Dungeons and Death video. <laughs> uh, for those who didn't see that one, I died so much in it that I had to pretty much like, there's like a death... Death-a-thon? I don't know. I don't know what to call it. I died a lot. <laughs> They still haven't introduced ways of healing, so that's my huge problem right now. Come on, die. Is he glitched? Like, I don't even see him getting... There we go, now he's dark red. So there, I have seen some other videos out there that people have done where they you see them clicking like crazy like this on the monster trying to kill him. You only have to double click once and then you auto attack. So you don't have to constantly keep clicking on him to keep swinging. For those who thought that it was going to be a constant click off. There, one dead. So these guys almost always drop an iron long sword every time I've killed them and some gold. But that's probably going to change later on. They just got basic loot right now. Uh, let me see how long it takes to kill this guy with the bow. Let's go down to the bow. So I put that on. Wait till my health goes up a little bit here. So after I kill him, we'll go look for a mage and then. This is pretty much the other area, so it's kind of like a desolate area. This gets, it's like a swampland. You got the long, tall grass. You got the cattails here, the fires in the background from these elves. You got the elves wandering all around. It's a, it's a pretty good layout. I kind of like it. Oh, and I, in case you guys haven't seen it in my other videos, I never really made a point of it. Here, I'll go up here. But that's the moon. So the moon's like all smashed to pieces and still circling the earth, so it's kind of cool looking. I don't know if they're, they're going to have a story behind that or if they're just going to leave it like that. But here's the yard tree. This guy doesn't seem to be firing back, is he? Oh, here. Perfect. Now these are the elf archers. There we go. So they're a lot like the other ones, except for they don't have the mask on. 
and they get a bow instead of a weapon. But I think he's glitched because he's not taking damage. So I think I have to run out here. I'm taking damage now. It's not changing color. I'm just gonna have to tag with the old fashioned way. Oh, where's my jeweled longsword? There she be. Is he gonna constantly keep. I'm not gonna fight this guy if he's gonna keep running. Oh, he's dying really fast though. him without attacking the stake. There we go. Ah, uh, so you actually get individual arrows from them too. Uh, so that probably means that they're going to do what they did in Ultima Online where you do have to have a certain amount of arrows on you or you can't shoot them anymore. So it's not going to be unlimited arrows. They just give them to them for the test right now. But here's the mage. So this is the last one you need to see. So we've seen the fighter, the archer, and this is the mage. They had to slow down the castle as it's very loud. As you can tell, I'll uh, down a little bit here. But they had to slow down their casting because they were casting way faster than this and they were killing people before they could even get them down to even part down their health. Kill him, Stag? Yeah. The Stag is whooping him for me. Come on. Come on. Finish him off. Damn it. It's kind of a glitch too. There we go. So as we said, this is the first time they put combat in this game. I imagine there's going to be a lot more glitches like that to come. Um, but that's it's literally a brand new idea that they just put in. But the aggro range, as you can see, is huge. Which I actually do like because you can't sneak past stuff as easily. Which I kind of dislike in a lot of games. Um, but that's pretty much the way this map works. Um, it's pretty much just a big open swamp area. They this one has the different sun well it's kind of like your morning sunrise so it's getting a nice you can see where they're going with the graphics like it's it's really really nice the sunrise so they're going to slowly start adding that to all the other things in the game so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that things that they know they don't want they won't have to change again once they put it in they're kind of perfecting right now like the sun's going to be the sun is going to be the sun so they kind of perfected that that's why it looks so nice up there uh, can I get out this way? I don't really need to get out, actually. So there you have it. So that is the... Oh, I'll kill this guy while I'm chatting. So that's what they've done so far with the elf fighters. I've used, this was the last class that you didn't see me fight, but if you go watch our other two videos that we released just recently um, on Nova, Nova Gamer Crew, you will see that uh, we went through pretty much every class of monster that they've released so far you can fight. This was the last one I had to show you. And you've also seen swimming now and the new boat designs. So they're pretty awesome. Uh, once again, we'll try to get those boat pictures out for you so you guys can see those. And uh, I'm going to die. Run away! It's a great way to end the video. Anyways, uh, that's it for me here at Nova Gamer. If you guys have any comments on this video or other videos you'd like to see before this release is over, put them in the comments below. Subscribe above so you can see when the next video comes out and other videos that we have released from other games. And as always, happy gaming.